All Outlander models are compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And the Outlander SE and SEL also come with a wireless smartphone charging tray. And while a wireless version of Apple CarPlay is available, Android Auto still requires a USB cable connection. To pair a smartphone, make sure the phone's Bluetooth is turned on and enabled for pairing. To pair a new phone, start from the home screen, then select Connections from the launch bar. That will bring up the connection screen. From here, select Devices, then Add New. From here, you will need to select Mitsubishi Motors from the phone and then complete and confirm the PIN number as prompted. Once confirmed, you will see the device appear on the Devices screen. You will then be prompted to grant access to messages to complete the process. When you see the word connected in blue text below the device, you know the device is ready to go. Once paired, iPhone users will then be asked to use Apple CarPlay. Wireless Apple CarPlay requires Wi-Fi and this menu confirms that you must deactivate all other Wi-Fi functionality to start Apple CarPlay. Select Yes to complete the wireless CarPlay connection. The Outlander offers wireless connectivity and convenience to enhance and inspire every drive. For enhanced visibility and convenience, the Outlander is equipped with a smartphone link display audio system. The available 9-inch touchscreen features a high visibility display with touchscreen control and embedded navigation system. This screen also provides access to wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, connected USB devices, and a wide range of settings and options including an option to customize home screen. The system launch bar is displayed at the bottom of the touch screen and makes it easy to quickly select key features. For example, selecting the audio icon will take you to the source screen, which will display a number of selections, AM, FM, Sirius XM, USB devices, Bluetooth audio, and any enabled smartphones. You also see an option to customize audio sources if you want to make any adjustments from this menu. All Outlander models are compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wireless CarPlay is also available, which will automatically activate with a paired phone. Android Auto currently requires a manufacturer-supplied USB cable for vehicle connectivity. The Outlander is also available with a wireless smartphone charging tray that automatically syncs with any compatible device. The indicator light turns on when connected and then turns green when the device is fully charged. The Home menu screen can be personalized by selecting the icons or widgets by preference and then customizing their appearance on the home screen. From the launch bar, select Settings. In Settings, select Customize Home Menu. Then simply touch and drag a shortcut or widget into the layout order below. Categories can be filtered by selecting Filter at the top of the screen which allows you to switch to widget view to further customize the menu. A confirmation screen will ask you to confirm icon and widget replacement. To access navigation and display the current location, simply press Map. This will display the map view along with the revised launch bar that features navigation specific options like zoom in or out and points of interest. Notice how the launch bar goes away when the screen is touched and enlarged. Then returns for easy zoom control and quick access to points of interest. Returning to the home screen from any menu is easy. Just touch Menu. Enhanced visibility with a larger touchscreen display and the convenience of a customized home screen. This is the Outlander difference. Customer-centered connectivity. The Outlander is available with a 12.3-inch full digital driver display, which features an advanced thin film transistor, or TFT full color display, that delivers clear and vibrant graphics in a durable execution. 
you can adjust the digital driver display brightness using the plus or minus buttons on the left panel just below the steering wheel. This vivid display is divided into three general areas, the tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and a detailed menu and vehicle information area in the center. You can easily cycle between two separate display themes by first pressing the control or shortcut button on the steering wheel and then using the scroll dial to select and change meter view, which gives you a new look for the tachometer, speedometer, and entire display. Using the left-right arrow buttons, you can cycle across the top icons or primary menus, starting with Home and ending with the Settings menu. To select any of these menus, press the scroll dial on the steering wheel inward, and this will bring up a new menu, and now you can scroll up and down and press to select another menu. As you can see, there are many menus and options, all controlled with these convenient steering wheel controls. Navigating Outlander technology is a lot like managing the settings on a smartphone. Lots of menus, but not a lot of buttons or knobs. Navigating the Outlander digital driver display is done through the arrow buttons and scroll dial on the left side of the steering wheel. The scroll dial is both a wheel and a button, used to scroll through items and menus, then pressed to select or change status of an item in the driver display. Pressing the U-shaped return arrow under the left side button will return to the previous menu. The left and right arrow buttons will cycle through the top layer menu, each represented with these icons. By pressing the right arrow, the display will cycle through each menu, including Home, Drive Computer, TPMS, Navigation, Audio, My Pilot Assist, and Settings. Each menu can be selected by pressing the scroll dial inward. There is also a convenient control or shortcut menu button just below the scroll dial. Pressing this button brings up the shortcut menu which allows you to change meter view, select audio source, and access driver assistance menus and personal display settings. Watch how easy it is to change meter view. With these intuitive controls, drivers of the Outlander can take command of the driving experience and navigate the display with just a few selections on the steering wheel. The Outlander offers multiple drive modes through the Drive Mode Selector in the center console. Selecting Eco Mode alters the driving characteristics of the vehicle with the goal of delivering maximum fuel efficiency and minimum environmental impact. In addition to the Eco Drive Mode, there is also a dedicated Eco Mode setting menu which can be accessed from the Settings menu. When selected, this Eco Mode setting menu provides access to Eco Customize, which gives you an option to turn the air conditioning on or off. The Drive Assist submenu lets you turn the Eco Indicator and Drive Report on or off. And you can also view the Eco History. The Tire Pressure Eco Advice switch activates an alert that will let you know if and when tire pressure has gone below optimal Eco levels. To activate the Easy Fill feature, set the Drive Mode Selector to Eco. Then cycle to the Tire Pressure menu by pressing the left or right arrows on the left side of the steering wheel. The Easy Fill feature will alert the driver when the tires have been filled to the optimal pressure for fuel economy. The Outlander offers sophisticated technology and features that enhance the driving experience. And the available head-up display, or HUD, is a perfect example of this commitment to the driver-centric experience. This head-up display provides 10.8 inches of projected display in full color, which includes vehicle speed, route guidance, and traffic sign recognition. It also features a built-in sensor to control brightness automatically based on outdoor conditions. Managing the head-up display position and settings is done through the digital driver display using the steering wheel controls. 
Start by going to the Settings menu, which can be located by using the arrow buttons. From the Settings menu, scroll down and select the Head-Up Display submenu. From here, you can select and adjust the brightness, height, rotation, and even the content selection. There is also a reset option, which will restore the factory settings. Notice how the system renders a virtual view with position reference for each individual adjustment. Brightness, height, and rotation. And by selecting content selection, you can customize the individual elements visible in the display, including navigation and SMS text messages. Driver-centric technology you can see right in the windshield, available on the 2022 Mitsubishi Outlander. The Outlander is available with a 9-inch touchscreen display and also an embedded navigation system that is fully integrated with a full digital driver display. To access the navigation system, select the map icon from the launch bar. The map will appear in the screen and a new menu bar will appear at the bottom of this view. You can reposition and change map view using the touchscreen. The back arrow returns to the previous screen. Using the navigation submenu, you can select points of interest, like nearby gas stations, and then set a destination. Select Start to begin route guidance, which can be cancelled at any time. You can also enter a destination manually using the convenient full-screen keyboard and here again, simply select Start to begin route guidance. On models equipped with a head-up and full digital driver display, the turn-by-turn -turn instructions have been fully integrated for a clean, consistent presentation. Technology with purpose, combined with Mitsubishi value, this is the 2022 Outlander. As the only vehicle in the segment with a standard third-row seat, it's only natural that the Outlander is also available with a three-zone climate control system. In auto mode, airflow and fan speed are automatically regulated and managed by the climate control system. And when the sync button is on, adjusting the temperature dial on the driver's side will automatically adjust or sync the same temperature across all three zones. By turning the sync button off, you can then control the temperature independently in each of the three zones. The rear zone can be adjusted using the red and blue arrow buttons with rear indicated in the text below each arrow. On Outlander models equipped with heated seats and steering wheel, you will find the controls here near the climate control knobs. And models equipped with super all-wheel control will also include the wiper de-icer feature which is controlled with this button at the end of the row. This helps prevent the wiper from freezing to the windshield. With three-zone control and standard seating for seven passengers, the Outlander combines capability with comfort. Every Outlander has five drive modes. Outlander models equipped with Super All-Wheel Control, SAWC, come with six different drive modes, all controlled by this convenient drive mode selector. Rotating the selector will cycle through each drive mode, represented with vivid graphics in the full digital driver display. Normal mode is for everyday driving. Eco mode is for optimized fuel efficiency and also includes an eco advice option with separate menu controls. In tarmac mode, the system provides responsive performance. In gravel mode, the system adapts for traction on loose, unpaved roads. Snow mode is for slippery winter driving conditions. And finally, mud mode is only available with super all-wheel control. This mode employs the center differential to send power to the wheels with the most traction under the most demanding conditions. Control, capability, and confidence. The Outlander Drive Mode Selector makes it easy to dial in the best mode when needed.
The Outlander SEL comes with a key-linked memory system, and you can also customize user settings and driver seat controls by navigating the touchscreen menus. The key-linked memory system included in the Outlander SEL uses the key fob to directly activate stored settings for the 8-way power driver seat, power outside mirrors, customized digital driver display settings, and even the radio station presets. From the settings menu, scroll to the bottom to further customize the key linked settings. Also from the settings menu, you can select the driving position option, which allows you to turn the exit seat slide feature on or off. Using the touch screen display, you can also customize profile settings for multiple drivers. From the settings menu, swipe right to access the edit user option. Here you can access user profiles, turn fast key sync on or off, and turn the welcome message on or off. From user profiles, you can select and edit the guest profile, which is like a default setting. And you can also create a new user profile by selecting new user, which allows you to edit the screen name and icon for each customized user profile. Once the profile is saved, you will see this confirmation screen along with a reminder that you can always access Edit User Profile from the Home menu. Driver-centric technology combined with Mitsubishi Value. The Rear Seat Alert System provides a visual and audible alert, reminding the driver to check the back seat after a drive. This is a great reminder for families with small children and pets. It never hurts to double-check the rear cabin, especially with standard third-row seating. The system is activated any time the rear door is opened and closed. At the end of the drive, when the engine is turned off, the system will then generate a reminder in the digital driver display. If dismissed, this deactivates the rear seat alert system. Opening and closing the rear door will also deactivate the system. However, if the warning is not dismissed, or if a rear door is not opened and closed again, the system will sound the horn after the vehicle is locked, as the driver walks away with the key fob. Of course, this system and alert can be customized, and it's important to understand where to find the rear seat alert system controls and menus. Start by locating and selecting the settings menu. Then scroll and select Vehicle Settings. Here you see settings for the electric tailgate, lighting, locking, and rear seat alert. Notice how you see here Horn and Alert. When Rear Seat Alert is selected, you can select three options, Horn and Alert, Alert Only, and System Off.